30-yard line after a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles around the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be... Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. Well, do you want on this drive? Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches go, this is caught inside the 15. And he's got 10 to the 9-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. 15 seconds to go in this first half. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And the defense obviously expecting run as well as they're going to shut that one down at the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's caught at the 10. And now we'll get a late timeout before halftime. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's caught at the 10. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Zerline's kick is up and through. After the gain of seven on a second and three. There's Wilson to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Play action. It's Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. They're, they're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Second and goal from the one. One more time with Hall. And he's in. Touchdown. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Pick it to throw on first down. And he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And he breaks. have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he's going to get this one across the 30. The long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
But they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to... No score after one on EA Sports. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw again on second down. Pick it. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six. Back in completions. This time they stay on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of first. Here we go, it's Pickett on fourth down. And he's brought down, can't do it. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far, it's second down. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Try and throw for it with Jackson. And he's brought down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And he can't find any. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to be eight. Here's Wilson. He rifles complete, caught by Moore. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll leave him with a third and two. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Jackson now. He's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Here's second and 10. To throw is Jackson. And pressure coming, and they got... I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. 
They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit after they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Jackson Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. They'll look to throw. Pressure applied, and he's... And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Jackson to throw. In trouble, and he'll go. With space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 47 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter or misdirection without everybody selling the heck out of it. They'll run on first down. It's ninth. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That was Carl Lawson in pursuit that time, and he gets the stop. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, it's Jackson. And the Jets pressure down. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the past. They pass the 30 from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Jackson. That's into the hands of Crochet. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing is Jackson, and he fires one that's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a downs. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jordan White. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from MetLife Stadium. This fielded right at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. He's at the 30. 10. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Jets. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they put. And now off to the races down the right side. And all the way in. As they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. 
Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third go, consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Throwing again on second and ten. Oh. He'll be taken down. It would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. The Bengals on third down. The perfect four for four thus far. This is third and four. It connects quickly to Jamar Chase. And he is going to have a Bengals right, first right down now. as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11, 11. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And he can't find a replay to Jamar Chase. And he is going to have a Bengals right, first right down now. as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11, 11. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So second and long, you've got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. But another try after the first down sack. Burrow. And the pressure gets field. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And this defense will take over right at midfield. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he is tackled infield. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the draw, it's Hall. And they'll get him down. And picking up the first down. 112 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And he is in. Touchdown. This one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. A very good starting field position for the Bengals here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And Burrow going to be hit. And they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. But one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. And the second wave of tackle. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Got it. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they will finally bring this run. Terrible. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now it's Mixon running right. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Burrow will throw. Rush coming, and he's pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. 
throwing now. Wilson on first down. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. To throw again on second down. Wilson able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's going to be taken. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. On second down, here's Mixon. And he is going to look connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. On second down, here's Mixon. And he is going to lose yardage here. Though certainly in a pickle here. They have a mile to go to try to pick up the first. We'll see what they've drawn up. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan. 